Hi, welcome to 1330 Brown Street in Old Town Napa. We're just steps away from Main Street and all of the downtown Napa fun that there's to be had here. I'm about to show you my brand new listing here. It's a vintage 1910 farmhouse. It's a real dynamic property. It has two levels, a basement level and a main level that we're gonna walk into now and then a great guest cottage in the back. Come on in. And what I love about this house is the super high ceilings that it has, 14 foot ceilings. It's got this gorgeous old fur floor. It is the quintessential rustic farmhouse here in Old Town Napa, but it also has a level of sophistication, lots of charm. It really just captures the essence of what the Napa Valley is all about. Over here, you've got bedroom one, super high ceilings, beautiful pendant light, the fur floors, two windows for lots of light. And then over here, you've got bedroom two, same thing, super high ceilings, two windows, gorgeous pendant light, fur floors. It's a really just nice and bright home. Walking into the living room, I just love everything about it. I even love my client's decor. It's a great, I don't know, tone on tone. It, it's just beautiful. Got a bathroom here. It's nice size with huge walk-in shower. And you've got the retro tile, which I think is a lot of fun, the hexagon black and white. And then for the at-home worker, look at this cute little office, even with the old desk here. It's just like a perfect little spot to tuck away and get a lot of work done. And then coming into the kitchen, I love this kitchen. It just screams farmhouse. Got the butcher block counters, the farm apron sink, the copper fixture, the great barn light fixture, gas range. It's cute, cute, cute. And one of the things that I really like about this house is this view. It's a cool little urban view of all the city buildings, all the way out to the Eastern Napa Hills. Just imagine what it's like to watch the sunrise while you have your cup of coffee. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you the basement space. Nice wide staircase to the basement. This seller purchased this home. It was in horrible condition and she raised it, poured a new foundation, all new electrical, wonderful windows. I mean, top of the line items here. And she did it with vintage integrity in mind. I mean, the house feels like it was built in 1910 and beautifully restored. So down here, you've got a great stained concrete floor and it's sort of an open studio space. She's created two sleeping areas here. And then here you've got your living room. And then here you've got your kitchen. Look at this cool old metal sink. I think it's just awesome. Love it. And then off the kitchen here, sort of a Jack and Jill, I guess you can say, from the kitchen to this little sleeping area is another bath with the restored clawfoot tub. Look at the chrome feet on those. Just really pretty. Into the sleeping area again, and I'm gonna take you out to the backyard and over into the cottage. Like I said at the beginning of this tour, this is a super dynamic property. And that is because, really, you've got three living spaces. The one at top, this one here that we just toured, and now I'm gonna take you into the cottage. So this cottage was just practically falling down when she purchased this home. And she's also restored this. I mean, look how cute, board and batten. I just love the butter yellows that she's used everywhere in this house, both inside and out. And great covered front porch. We're gonna walk into the kitchen here. Cute little Eden kitchen. You got a gas range, dishwasher, refrigerator, more for flooring. Again, it's fully equipped. You can live comfortably here if you wanted to and maybe rent out the front house or rent this, this out and live in the front house and help offset your expenses. Here is a nice size bedroom. You got a closet, beadboard, wainscoting. Again, all the tone on tone on tone. I just love it here. It's light and bright. And off the kitchen, Look at this cute, cute little living room. She's got French doors out to the covered porch, 
plantation shutters, more beadboard wainscoting, and then here, got a cute little bathroom with a little mint green distressed vanity, it's super charming. And she's even set up a little exercise room here. So really, just a lot to offer in a little 650 plus or minus square foot cottage. Take you out to the garden. So the garden is essentially a blank canvas for you. She's got some raised beds here, but you've got a lot of sun and you can do a lot here. She's got a little area set up here to sit. She's got this cool old accessory building here. You can actually park a little car in there if you wanted to, but it's great for storage. And she just did a nice job of giving that a really nice distressed look, but cool too at the same time. And then off to the side, sort of a little private space with a picnic table, looking out to the old cedar tree, the hammock. Take a look at the trunk on that cedar tree. So here we are in this great little sort of private side patio space that she's created here with the bamboo, looking out to the trunk of that old cedar tree. Those are the kinds of things that you find in these old houses. Got your picnic table, your, your hammock. It's just a wonderful little spot to be, again, in the thick of everything uh, that's fun in downtown Napa. 1330 Brown Street, it's listed at 1495000 Thank you for taking this tour with me. I'm Joe Brazil with Coldwell Banker, Brokers of the Valley.